friends, so I'm down here in the corner and I'm here today to tell you how I am multi-streaming to Twitch, Instagram, and potentially TikTok. And I'm using two different overlays. So one is set up specifically horizontally for the vertical video platforms and one is set up vertically for the vertical video programs and one is set up horizontally specifically for Twitch. So you need two instances of OBS to accomplish this. I am using Streamlabs OBS, as you can see here. This is typical Streamlabs OBS set up for Twitch. And additionally, I am using OBS Studio. Uh, this is what I am using for my um, Instagram and TikTok videos. So you need a couple extra programs in order to accomplish this. And one of those is Yellow Duck. Here we have Yellow Duck and I am logged into my Instagram account. I had an issue logging in the first time. I really needed to go on my phone and approve my Instagram that I was um, actually myself trying to log in I wasn't a scammer and then it took about an hour before the, the program would actually let me log in but this is how I'm getting my Instagram stream key and server so inside of OBS studio you will want to go to your settings and your stream set it to custom and this is where you need this information so you need the RTMP URL for server and you need the stream key to go under stream key so you are ready to go you can set that up and when you are ready to go live on instagram all you need to do is hit start broadcast in yellow duck and start streaming here in obs so if you want to add tiktok on top of this uh this is where some complicated factors come in what you will need to do is you're going to need to go to this website i will link it in the description of this video and you will need to go to obs multiple rtmp output plugin and go to the download page from here you're going to want to download this setup exe and install it uh, i have already installed it but once you have it installed it should add this new multiple output layer to obs so under doc if it's not enabled when you restart OBS, you will go under docs and you will be able to find it under multiple output. So here we are, I have it checked um, to turn on multiple output. So this gives you the opportunity to add a new target. Uh, I have already added TikTok, but what you'll do is you will go into the settings here and um, TikTok actually doesn't let you have a stream key until you have a certain amount of followers and a certain amount of lifetime. So I personally do not have the ability to go live on TikTok. But if you do, if you log into your TikTok account on a browser, it'll say go live under this live section. And then you will be able to get your stream key and server information from there. And then you'll put that into the streaming settings on the left. So then I believe you'll need to push a go live button inside of TikTok. And you will also need to also make sure you leave your video and audio settings all as is. You will need to push go live in the TikTok site. And then you'll also need to push the start button here in order to activate your TikTok stream as well. So the final thing that we need to keep in mind is getting your Twitch stream set up. So obviously you will have Streamlabs OBS set up linked to your Twitch and logged in. So you will go live on this platform as you would normally with the go live button in the bottom right hand corner. So the catch is most webcams typically do not want to show up to different applications at once, but never fear, I have found a way around this situation. So what I am doing to accomplish this is I have added in my OBS a window capture called camera. I will go ahead and delete this and show you how I have accomplished it. So I'm gonna go to sources and I'm going to add a new window capture, add source. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a new source. I'll just name it camera two since I already have a new camera camera two and I will add the source. So I'm doing a window capture of my OBS studio. Uh, and what I'm doing here is I will just make this uh, as large as I want it to be. And then I will use alt shift or sorry, alt drag to crop down the webcam to the size that I want it to be. And then you can scale that to make it as big as you want. Um, it does get a little pixelated at some points, but that's also because my other window is in, in small size right now. So I am essentially doing a window capture of my second version of OBS here in order to get a webcam into OBS. Uh, if you have a Elgato capture card, there are 
ways to split your video using the 4K Elgato Capture Utility that you can find on their website. I will also link that in the description of this video. Uh, but I've had some hit or miss problems with it actually being a consistent video feed. Sometimes it freezes and sometimes it black screens. So my janky way has turned out to be relatively efficient at the end of the day after all. Um, you can also do this in reverse if you wanted to have a big camera on Twitch and a smaller camera on Instagram and TikTok situation, you may want to have your OBS your Streamlabs OBS capture your webcam and then do a window capture in OBS Studio um, for a smaller version. Essentially, the one that's doing the window capture is always going to be lower quality. So you wanna use that for whichever one you are participating in a smaller cam. Keep in mind that for uh, Instagram and Twitter, TikTok, uh, I don't think we can stream on Twitter yet. That would be great. Uh, it's only gonna be capturing the middle part of your screen because it is vertical video. So if you wanted to do an overlay here, you absolutely could, but um, you want to keep it to the middle of your screen, whereas on your regular stream of OBS, this is capturing your entire 16 by 9. Anyway, I hope this video helps. Uh, if you have any questions that I can do to clarify this, or you have any feedback about ways that make this situation easier, I'll leave them in the comments, uh, and I hope this helps.